The following process is applicable for new business setup. If you use a mid-year or FPS import, this process will slightly differ. The Pensions Regulator is a public body set up by the government to regulate workplace pensions. They write to employers to let you know when your duties start. This is your staging date. If you are starting a new company and are unsure about your staging date, you can check it on the Pensions Regulator website. If you're postponing automatic enrollment, you still need to enter the staging date assigned to you by TPR. You can only amend the staging date if you've not processed any payments for that period. For cyclical re-enrollment, there is no need to change your staging date. To enter your staging date, click the Summary tab. Within the Auto-Enrollment Pension section, enter the staging due to start date you received from TPR. Then click Set Staging Date. If you haven't yet reached your staging date, the Summary tab will show you a countdown. You cannot process a pay run until you set up a pension scheme. When you reach the staging date, you will see options to either prepare for auto-enrollment or amend staging date on the Summary window. You must choose one of these options and follow the steps carefully. To amend the staging date, click Amend Staging Date and Edit if needed. To prepare for auto-enrollment, click Prepare for auto-enrollment or select Pensions from the menu bar. It's best to complete these steps prior to your staging date to ensure that you are prepared for auto-enrollment. The first step is to nominate and inform TPR of your pensions contact. So that you don't miss out on any important communications, you must tell TPR who is responsible for automatic enrollment in your company. You can specify a primary and a secondary contact. A primary contact is the most senior person in your organization, for example, a managing director. If you don't nominate a secondary contact, this person receives all the letters and emails from TPR. Secondary contact is the person who will manage or implement automatic enrollment. For example, the pensions manager. This person receives emails from TPR to help with implementation. To nominate a contact, visit the TPR website link and complete the form. Once you complete this, select the Pensions Contact Nominated checkbox in Payroll. Next, assess your workforce in Payroll. Even if you haven't yet reached your staging date, assessing your workforce in advance gives you the opportunity to predict the costs of automatic enrollment based on the number of employees in each job category. A worker category is assigned to each employee based on their age and earnings. There are three categories, Eligible Job Holder, non-eligible job holder, and entitled worker. To initially assess your workforce in payroll, click Assess Workforce. Click Printable PDF and download or print the report from the Internet Browser menu. Within Payroll, go back to the Pensions tab and select the Workforce Assessed checkbox. After this, Payroll automatically assesses your employees every time you complete a pay run. As part of the setup process, if you already have a pension scheme, you need to check that it meets the qualifying criteria for automatic enrollment. If you are unsure, speak to your pension provider. We cannot advise if a scheme qualifies. You can then set up your pension scheme in payroll by using one of the standard providers or setting up a custom scheme. The pensions regulator have lots of useful information to help you find a provider and choose a pension scheme. Once you decide on a pension scheme provider and work with them to get your scheme up and running, you should follow these steps. Under Review Pension Arrangements in the Do you have an existing pension scheme question, click No. Click Add a new pension and complete the necessary information. You can set up a default scheme to enroll employees into and create multiple plans. For example, you might have a standard plan that you want to enroll most of your employees into and a separate plan for your managers. You can set the following pensions up or add your own. For the demonstration purposes, I will select Nest Corporation. In the Employer Reference box, enter your employer Nest ID. Click Add Group and complete the relevant fields. Enter a name for this plan. Choose whether the rates are a percentage of the employee's pay or a fixed amount. Then enter the percentage or fixed amount the employer pays into the pension scheme. Also enter the percent or fixed amount the employee pays into the pension scheme. Then choose the earning basis. 
If your scheme deducts before tax, select the Deducts Before Tax checkbox. Then enter the date you're due to make your pensions payments to your pension provider. If you want to automatically enroll all employees into the pension scheme, select the Default Plan checkbox. You can change this for individual employees when you process their pay run. To proceed, click Add. Repeat the process to add any additional groups. Then click Add Payment Source and enter a name for your payment source. This should match the name of your payment source provided by Nest. If this is the default payment source, select the default checkbox. Click Save and repeat the process to add any additional payment sources. Select the Qualifying Scheme checkbox. To read the terms, click our Terms link. Then to accept them, select the Terms checkbox. Then click Save. Once completed, go back to the Pensions tab and select the Pension Scheme Qualifiers checkbox. If you already have a qualifying pension scheme, please follow the below steps. Under Review Pension Arrangements in the Do you have an existing pension scheme question, now click Yes. Then click the Confirm link. The TPR website opens automatically and you can check whether your existing scheme qualifies. If you're unsure, speak to your pension provider. If it does qualify, go back to the Pensions tab within Payroll and select the Pension Scheme Qualifies checkbox. Click Add a new pension, then add your own pension and complete the necessary information just like we did before. Payroll does not automatically enroll employees who are already members of a qualifying pension scheme into a new pension scheme when you stage. However, you still need to communicate the automatic enrollment changes to your employees. One of your employer duties is to write to each of your employees about automatic enrollment and what it means to them. If you've already set up a pension scheme, you can write to your employees straight away by letter or email to give them some information about automatic enrollment. You can print or email advance notices at this stage from payroll. These notices aren't required under legislation. However, they let your employees know about the upcoming payroll changes and what happens next. If you don't want to send the advance notices, select the Employee Inform checkbox. When you set up auto enrollment, you can choose to print all the documents using the internet browser or you can choose to email all. Check the right employees appear and click Send Emails. Alternatively, to print individual letters, find the employees in the list and click Print. If you haven't previously entered email addresses and passwords for your employees, you're prompt to enter this before you can send. Once you've sent the letters to your employees, select the Employee Informed checkbox. Some employees are not covered by automatic enrollment legislation, for example, non-UK workers. Once you receive confirmation from TPR, that you can exclude an employee from automatic enrollment legislation, you must indicate this within their employee record. This is only for employees who fit specific criteria set by TPR. It's not used for employees who want to opt out or leave a pension scheme. To do that, go to the Employees tab and click the relevant employee. Click the Workplace Pensions tab, then click Edit. Select the Exclude from Auto Enrollment checkbox, then click Save. After you complete a pay run and a pension deduction is processed, you can view the pension contribution to date. The report shows pension contribution year to date values up to and including the current pay run. To generate this report, click View Pension Contribution for this pay period. To download the report from the top right, click Download Report. To send your pension submissions directly to Nest and Smart Pensions, click View Submission Details. Here you have a summary of your employees' pension details and contributions. To submit directly to the pension provider, click Submit Online. Alternatively, to manually upload the values, click Manually Upload CSV File. Pensions, including setup, has already been covered in this course. To view and record your payments to your pension provider, 
click on to pensions. For the plan you want to see the information for, click review contributions and record payments. Firstly, enter the payment date. To view the breakdown of pension contribution, click view detailed contributions. If you need to amend the amount to pay, type the correct value in record amount to pay to pension provider. Reference check number is optional but can help you to keep track of payments by filling this in. When you are happy with the details, click record payment. Again, if you subscribe to accounting, the record payment process posts a transaction to reduce your bank account and pensions liability. This is covered later in the course.